go into the mall to buy clothes that I won't want to wear after this experiment. Visible belly line is kind of one of the last taboos when it comes to body positivity. To explain what that is, it's when you can see the outline of my tummy. The entire Spanx industry is designed to make sure nobody knows you have a tummy. Like it's almost like it's okay for it to be distributed in other ways like your butt or your boobs, but like not here, this is bad. My whole life as a big person, I wear A-line dresses because I've been taught that like that's what you need to do. And so I thought like what if I just dress in clothes that I think are cute, regardless of whether or not you can see my tummy. Cause it's not like no one knows I have a tummy. It's not a secret. It's not like people think I'm hiding like fruit snacks under here. I expect to feel really embarrassed. I think I'm gonna learn like just how ingrained the humiliation behind admitting that you have a stomach really is. Ugh, I don't wanna do this. Showing people on the internet my belly button. I just finished Visible Belly Line day one and I posted a picture of this outfit on Instagram this afternoon and people were really enthusiastic about it, which was strange because honestly, I felt like an idiot today. This week was really busy week at work for me and it was really hard to focus. So it's day two and I forgot that I had a video shoot today. So I have to do the video shoot like this. I hate dressing like this. Honestly, it makes me feel stupid. Adding in like an extra element in there, like to worry about, kind of really impacted my brain, at least for the first few days. I'm in such a bad mood dressing like this. I need lots of people to say, hey, you look great, in order to feel like just okay. And like, you can't live life like that, depending on other people's compliments. I learned that there are no off limits fashion trends. Like if you want to try something, just go for it. I'm wearing my first bodycon dress today. I don't know if I can get through this day with my belly out like this. I feel like I'm literally oversharing. I don't know, some things are private and this feels like something that's private. Like even more so than my boobs, which makes no sense because they're both just big lumps of fat. The other thing that I learned is that I spend so much time in pictures like doing like a pose. I would do this thing where I would like suck my stomach in to make it look like, you know, my best self. It's just so strange like how I've trained myself to look in photos, like what I know I'm not gonna wanna see. It's hard to just like be my actual body in photos. By the end of the week, I actually started running out of things to wear and I realized that I was gonna have to wear pants. I hate pants. So I went shopping again. Like yay for pants. I didn't realize how awesome pants are. I didn't worry about like what's going on in my stomach. Honestly, who gives a shit if my fat does not go in a place that people feel like it should be in. It's my my belly and I don't give a f So it's day six. I just kind of feel like I can like take on the world in these pants. It just kind of seems like the fear of people being able to see my belly is a lot worse than people actually seeing my belly. Okay, it's my last day and I decided to wear a variation on an outfit that a lot of people said was unflattering. This is definitely the tightest pair of pants I've worn. It's the one where my belly is the most apparent, um, but I was super comfortable and everyone was like, oh, cute shirt. And it was like, oh yeah, you're right. It turns out lots of options are open to you if you just chill a little bit. I think visible belly line is just another curve on your body. I've learned that I like certain clothing silhouettes that I had no idea I liked, like slinky skirts, totally fun. Like I would never know that if I hadn't gotten out of my comfort zone to try it. And a few people came up to me and they were just like, representation. Lots of people commented like, this is the thing that scares me, but you did it, and so that makes it fine. And really, that's what this is all about. I think from now on, I'm just gonna wear cool shit that feels like good shit and not care about what people think.